Well, it's not about pro-life or the right to life. This bill is about control. People are going to have abortion. The problem is it's going to always be unsafe, inaccessible for those people who uh, have lesser means. We all know about the back alleys, the basements. People will try go going online now, how you can mix a concoction to have an abortion. Every once in a while I wake up in the morning and I look at the news and some state in the United States does something they're, they're typically in the South and they typically do it in the name of Jesus. So here we are. And, and, and what's always fun is then I usually have to explain it to my Europeans uh, why one state is doing something stupid. So here we are. We're going to talk about it. So Alabama recently passed a law uh, that the governor just signed into law, which basically makes abortion pretty much illegal in the state of Alabama. Which means now in Alabama, if you're a woman and you're raped and you're pregnant, you now have to have that kid. Uh, because apparently the woman doesn't have the right to choose anymore. In the 1970s, Roe v. Wade was a monumental court case that legalized abortion and the main issue had to do with the woman's right to privacy I mean, this has been upheld for a long long time uh, since that time people have constantly uh, been fighting it but alabama a state that's been a leader in things like the fifth uh highest obesity rates in the united states uh the six highest levels of poverty uh a deep terrible history with uh you know racism uh, suddenly, they're the ones that are going to lead us into the future with this, I guess. But, uh, yeah. I guess my point is, I feel like Alabama has its own problems they really need to be concerned with, as opposed to uh, unwanted children. Uh, this kind of just seems silly. And, to be fair, I've been in the South, and I love the South in a lot of ways. I think the South is a very friendly place, and I probably think that most people in Alabama aren't like this. But it's just, it's just silly to me. Um... But luckily, uh, and we'll see what happens. Like, why is this happening right now? This this is mostly just explaining it to my, you know, explaining it to my Swedish audience here. Typically, something stupid goes in the law or positive, but either way, it'll be at the state level, and it just keeps going up into higher and higher courts until it gets to the Supreme Court. So I think in this case, they're hoping that Roe v. Wade, the the idea of abortion, could be challenged again. Um, I know there's some fear with this, uh, with the Supreme Courts, that if there's enough conservative judges that maybe Roe v. Wade would be returned, or abortion would be illegal again, which would be interesting to think about. Uh, but sometimes it can, our system can be paused. I'll give an example, like, well, maybe pe some people out, um, okay, some people in Alabama maybe don't think this, but, uh, one of the reasons that civil rights movement got changed and you couldn't have whites and blacks having their own separate, uh, fountain or bathroom uh, or restaurants or where they could sit had to do with uh, it going all the way to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said that you could not do it anymore due to interstate commerce. Uh, the fact that people were traveling state to state, it was considered illegal for one state to decide that. Another reason, if you remember, uh, the, the, those of you that were Swedish, that uh, all of a sudden out of nowhere one day, gay marriage was just legalized all across the United States. That's because it got challenged enough state to state level that the Supreme Court was going to be able to look at it as a whole. So what I hope here is that this will in fact get shut down but i think it's just a little bit scary and stupid and like disappointing on my i end because like i look at this and i think a couple of things one and i don't want this to come across the wrong way but like i don't know if the world needs more people number one and, and, and needs more people that are like i don't think the world needs more uh unwanted maybe children uh as as harsh as that might sound to say i don't think that that's what the world needs right now uh number one Number two, I don't think that we need to be telling women what to do with their own bodies. Uh, I think that that should be a personal decision. I think if someone happens to get an abortion, it's not an easy decision to make. It should be a personal decision to make. And no politician or person should be writing anything in law to do that. The rest of the Europe does it fine. It's not like people in Sweden are getting abortions left and right. It's not like I, it's this drastic thing happening in Europe. It's just something you have as an option for people. Uh, because maybe it's not the best decision for two 16-year-olds to have a baby and then have to make it work the rest of your life just so you guys can say it's okay and tell us how to live our lives. I, 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 don't, I don't think that's really the case. Um, I also think that the Alabama and parts of the United States should be concerned with much more stronger and bigger issues. This is just, to me, just stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, 
I wake it up this morning. This to me, this isn't even like a Democrat or Republican issue. And like, I, you can be a spiritual person, like you can be a Christian and 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 think that like abortion is wrong. But like at the end of the day, when you come to, if you look at the letter of the law and the woman's right to privacy, there's no reason that this should be overturned to begin with. So this is just dumb. So I don't know even if this is like a political move, but. This is typically what happens a couple times a year. And what's annoying about it is it makes all Americans look stupid, really. It just does. Uh, and I hate that. Like, one of the stereotypes about Americans, what I hate, is that we're dumb or stupid. And we're not. It's just that, uh, you know, there's 50 states. So you get a couple bad apples every once in a while. They get an idea and does something silly or stupid. And then, I'm sorry, this is like a rant. I was mad. I don't know where I was going with this with my like Swedish audience. I just had to get this off my chest. So I did and I will see you guys in the next video. Hello.